maybe I will just do this. Hello plant friends, this is Mira from Busy Plants and welcome to my channel. Yes, I dressed up today for you, just for you. And maybe I didn't know what else to wear. Used up all of my clothing options in my previous videos. I really don't do clothes because plants. First of all, I wanted to thank you all for watching. We just passed 100 subscribers. Yay! Can't believe that there are 100 people watching this. Of course, thank you for commenting. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for giving me those thumbs up. I think that's great. I hope you're enjoying in these videos. And of course, if there is anything else that you would like to see, as always, you can tell me that. But today I wanted to do a quick video to thank you for watching and then also to show you some of the plants that I recently received. One of them is here. And the first plant is this philodendron here and you can kind of see he's a big boy he's a really big boy and he's very unstable too um so that's why he has the stake i found several different names for this like philodendron narrow or philodendron sweet escape i think that's another name i saw it under so it's definitely a hybrid anyways it has this one massive leaf that you can see here and you know, if we do a head size test it is as big as my head and I do have a big head and you can see he's just getting all over the place he has these very nice leaves I have a smaller one that I will show you and that's another plant that I forgot to bring yay and you, you can obviously see this is not flower shop example of the philodendron a lady here that used to import plants was selling some of her collection you know I decided to buy them it's not looking perfect, but we will get, well, we will get somewhere. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna say we're gonna make him perfect, but we will try to get somewhere with this plant. I hope that somewhere will not be the death of this plant. It's in a plastic pot that I drilled some holes in. I actually melted because I melt stuff. I mean, not that I melt stuff, but just the holes in my plastic pots. We'll see how, how he does there. So that's the first plant, this philodendron narrow. This is another philodendron narrow that I have. This is a very small one. Actually, this one costed me exactly like the big one because I can find good deals. He's spotted in, in moss and in bark in this neat little pot that I created. It's like, please don't ever show us your DIY skills. I will probably never have a DIY tutorial, but you can see the new leaves get kind of reddish. This used to have a bit more leaves, but um, this was under a more intense light. It was one of, under, under one of the LEDs, similar to the ones I have for Hoyas, and the bottom leaves would stay reddish for a long time, and then they just fell off, so I think it was getting too much. All of the five, six leaves that you can see here are actually fairly recent. I'm surprised that this, this philodendron seems to be putting out new leaves every two weeks or something like that. It's very, very prolific grower. So I'm hoping that the big one will do that as well. But the big one will also be going outside very soon, possibly in two weeks. I think I'm gonna keep the small guy inside for a bit longer. Now, the another plant that I ha that I got, well, it was supposed to be a philodendron squamiferum, but the lady, she brought it out outside way too soon. It's April now here. Well, when I'm recording this, it's the May, May 1st. She put it out possibly two or three weeks ago and it lost all of the leaves. Uh, so she didn't want to sell me that, which, you know, I wouldn't even buy because it's just a stick. She accidentally broke the top off and it looks looks like this by the way I paid for this. <laughs> Good choices. She put this one in soil wanting to propagate it but it didn't really work out for her and the reason is because this philodendron has really big leaves that are wilty now so you can't simply put it in soil and expect it to take root especially not in dry soil which is what she did. It is dehydrated it's severely dehydrated you can see when the back of the leaf isn't looking great both of the leaves are dehydrated so is the the growth the top i did place it in water for a couple of hours with some amino acids which are supposed to, to stimulate your cuttings it did seem this helped a bit 
and I hope it takes root. It does have some aerial roots down there, but we will see if it will grow into something. The stem seems viable. The leaves will be gone very, very, very quickly. I just hope that uh, whatever is left of chlorophyll here is good to give this plant enough strength to produce new roots and then from there I think the plant will be able to, to push out a new shoot. That's what we are relying on here. So I'm not relying on these leaves at all, I'm relying on a new shoot. The reason why I got this is that this is not available here and I really want this. I love, this is my first philodendron with a fuzzy fuzzy stem. It's not what I expected really. I don't know, I expect, expected the fuzz to be softer, but it's not. It's like really rough, you know, like when you don't shave, if you, if you, if you're, if you shave, do you shave? I don't know. If you don't shave for a couple of days, well, that's uh, how rough it is. It's looking sad now, but I really, 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 really hope we can get something out of this. We will see, it's in water, so I need to put this back in water because like this is on life support. I also got uh, more plants because why stop there, you know, why I stop with two? Another plant that I got is homilomina. This homilomina was, again, you can see that the leaves are a bit yellow, some of the leaves, not all of them. I really haven't seen one in a in a store here. From what I can tell on the internet, the leaves are supposed to be a deeper green and the stem is supposed to be red, but this one looks how it looks. I did transfer this one to semi-hydro because my friend has it. She also got it from the same lady last year, and she told me that this plant really likes a lot of water, and I'm really a notorious underwaterer, so we ain't gonna do that. I need to put everything that needs a lot of water here needs to either go in semi-hydro or it needs to go in self-watering because I'm just terrible with plants that need a lot of water. That's why I have horty hoyas and succulents and then the rest of it that needs a lot of water is, is in semi-hydro. That's that with homolomina. I really hope she takes well to semi-hydro. It's not my only plant in semi-hydro, but it's only the second one that I converted from soil to semi-hydro. The first one was a spatophyllum. He was having issues a bit when we did that, when we started, but now he's looking a little bit better. So I hope this homolomina takes the transfer a bit better. I also got two Dracaenas. One of them is Dracaena circulosa, the regular one, which has really nice spots in the leaves. It's okay, it's not too bad, not as bad as the Sclomithurum. She got a terracotta pot, and I think that will be okay because Dracaenas generally do not need a bunch of water so I can relax a bit there. I do see that, that some of the older growth is light green and it lost those speckles that it has, but the new growth still has those speckles. So I'm wondering, do they fade over time? Because again, I never saw this. So, you know, if you have it, can you tell me in the comments below, do the speckles fade over time with Dr Dracaena circulosa or is this just the environment issue? I guess I will find out too. And the last plant that I got is also Dracaena circulosa florida beauty. Now this one is very trippy. I love the way the leaves look with the white uh, spots and I can see that older leaves and the newer leaves have these. So this is not something that will fade out. It is something that it will keep. It is smaller than the previous Dracaena circulosa, but it's just ooh, lovely. I love it. it. It's very, very interesting to look at. It's very trippy. Those are the five plants that I got. Now, I know they all have character, which is what we say with, when plants are looking funky, which is again what we say when plants are not the best looking. <laughs> but again, these are not all from a nursery. Actually, none of them are from a nursery. They are from a lady who just had them growing in her home. Maybe not perfect conditions. So, you know, maybe this is something that you can expect when you buy plants. They will adjust to your conditions in different ways. So some of them might grow towards the light and get this funky look like that philodendron arrow. You know, that's something you can expect because we don't live in a greenhouse with lighting from the above. So plants will not grow perfectly unless you maybe rotate them and then, you know, try to, to, to maintain that shape. But again, that's so much work. Who has time for that? I really I never rotate my plants. So, you know, they just grow towards the light. So thank you for watching. Order plants. Uh, follow me on Instagram. I'm just gonna be like, order plants, order plants.
it's mind control video. I'm I'm with the plant mafia. <laughs> this is this is what I do. I I make people order more plants. And see you in the next video. Have a great weekend. Stay inside and stay safe. Bye.